Good evening, my friends. This is Ken. Welcome to another video. Uh, this video is the start of me working on the rear coilovers, taking them out. Uh, my last video, I told you guys I was having a problem with uh, getting this coilover out. I was thinking about getting a spring compressor. Uh, but a commenter which usually you guys comment and usually save me on this stuff, commented to uh, just push on this, move the jack stand. I got the jack stand on the frame down there and just uh, push this all the way down. And this thing just came, just came right out. I was able to I was able to just pull on it or push, push down it like this with my foot. came right out <laughs> here I am thinking I was gonna get ready to buy a spring compressor on Amazon too that's unbelievable I'm gonna ooh, there's some uh, some gunk in there so that saved me um so I got my uh I'm gonna go ahead and take the other the other side out just like just like I did and I'll show you the what, what I'm up against here. Here's this one. In comparison to the eBay coilover. And just as I feared, just as other people have told me, the size is different. This, this one was supposed to be for a, a, an SL model. And this one's smaller. So I'm wondering, apparently... This, uh, this thing come out. Otherwise, I might have to see if I can get one of these machines or something. It's kind of a bummer. I don't really care about this shock either, so if it... You know, if I can somehow get this out of there, I'll, I'll be happy. Maybe I'll take a hammer to it or something. But yeah, I just wanted to start off with this video with some good news that I was able to get the shock out with no problem thanks to a commenter some of my YouTube comments in my last in my last video thought that was awesome all right so I wanted to do an unboxing for you guys some stuff I got in the mail so I ordered a bunch of parts uh, for the parking brakes, this is all your parking. Apparently, this is for all your uh, parking brake uh, accessories and stuff. No clue how to put all this together. Definitely have to check it out. I might just look at the the, the rear, the driver's side rear, because that one's put together, and I'll just use that as a visual guide. I think. And these are your pads. I got this on the Rock Auto Centric. It's just uh, new pads. Hopefully I can get that to work. Got another set of uh, uh, aluminum wheel spacers. Now let's open it real quick. It's got my it's got the, my address on it. I'm sure you guys don't want to see that. Another, another pair of some awesome 20 mil wheel, wheel spacers for the rear. Put that over there. And let's see. I'll just open one of these up for you. This is a, already opened up. This is the new rear hub and bearing. Turn it. Huh. Solid. So, made in China. 
We'll see how that works. And then, uh, so I got I got the other pair. And here I just I had a little bit extra credit through through Rock Auto, so I just I ordered some new headlights. That's all this is, I think. Um, I ordered some some uh, white headlights on eBay, but they turn out to be junk. As with most most things that come from eBay, these are all these are a high. I just got some regular Phillips. I think that's a good brand. Made in Germany, so that should be all right. So, yeah, just thought I'd show you that. I'm gonna go ahead and start taking off this other shock. All right, so I thought I'd record a little segment here. Of what I just did. Um. As you see here, I'm using a, to get this other side out, I'm using a deep well socket. This way I, hopefully I can bypass the, uh, this, uh, sway bar link. So I want to turn this right here and it turned this whole thing like nine degrees and I don't want to bust that. So I was, I just, uh. Took a deep well, a uh, 17 mil deep well, uh, and uh, hooked up to my half inch ratchet with a half inch to three eighths reducer. Uh, I also had to uh, apply some heat, up some gas to the bolt. The bolt, you probably can't see it from here, it's underneath. Uh, Oh, it's underneath, underneath there. The other, basically, where the other other end of this bolt is. Hard to see. All right, it's up in there. See where the whole hole is? I applied a bunch of heat in there, and it and it broke broke free finally. I was kind of worried because I sprayed a bunch of PB blaster in there. All it did was smoke. So, but uh, I got it broke loose, and I'm gonna hopefully bypass this uh, sway bar link to get that off. So in my careless stupidity uh I totally just got myself scared scared the crap out of myself i was actually i was underneath the car right here on finally getting this uh getting the bolt out one second i got the bolt out out of the strut anyway and I had the jack stand underneath here. And of course, once I released the strut, once we got the bolt out of the strut, the whole car just dropped like two inches while I was underneath it. And it, got, and it stopped because this arm right here went up to its, ma the car fell down and went up to its maximum position while I was under the car. And so, like, uh, like right here where this corner is, the, it dropped down and hit my shoulder. Thankfully, and then just kind of, it's flexible right there. Whew. <laughs> and it landed on me, but it got, the car got caught. So thank goodness. That scared the crap out of me. So got the strut out. Now I can go up top and I can unbolt the, the strut from the, from uh, underneath. car still has that old that smell to it like the old I don't know I don't know what that smell is but it smells good to me and it's an old dusty smell
and I'm careful with the bolt because it might just drop down somewhere inside the plastic and you won't ever find it. Go on a magic plane ride. <laughs> Alright, for here, I'm gonna do exactly what I did to my uh, for my last one. Hope that gives me some light. Here, let's, uh, let's back a little bit so you can see the whole picture. That's what I'm going to do here, besides moving my tools all the way, since I hate clutter. Still smells like burning metal because I torched the bolt. So here. As you can see, hopefully without my knee in the damn way. Sorry about all this. I think I just smashed a mosquito in my face. I might have to shut my door, my garage door. Bugs are coming in. I, I gotta go get a fan and it's hot so I breathe heavy and because I'm because I'm fat all right so this is how else you can't get it this should be able to just put your foot down on the axle and finagle it out. So I'm caught in something on the bottom. Oh. About, to hear, about to hear me start cussing. <laughs> Alright, I'll stand up. Got it. Woo! This thing is a real bitch. I guess you can see all this. See, so what I'm thinking about doing, since I don't have these these sleeves here. I'm thinking about see if I can drill those out, put them in the. You see how sweaty I am? Oh, it's hot. So yeah, you guys see that and seeing that process. What I'm gonna do now. One of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my my grinding wheel here and uh, I'm gonna do some cleaning. I might get my face mask on because I want to breathe in the dust. A lot of 
of dust in there. I don't want to breathe that. So, yeah, uh, just thought you guys wanted to see that. I'm going to see if I can, uh, well, I got those off now, so maybe now I will work on the parking brakes. So. All right, again, thanks to my uh, uh, good buddy Mark from Mark vs. Machine on YouTube. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, he sent me these plastic pieces, which I so desperately needed for my car, especially for this side right here. Um, unfortunately, this part right here, there's supposed to be like a uh, thing I screw in right here or to, uh, one of those plastic plugs you push in. But the piece is missing there, so I just took a sheet metal screw and drilled a hole in this metal part of the uh, car and securely, that's in there pretty tight. Uh, put one more right down there. And then there's this push, this push one right here. That was actually, there's a hole there for that one. So, got that in there nice and good. It's in there strong, pretty tight. Um, the other side, I got the pl new plastic for the, plastic for the other side too. My, when I go to work on that side, I'll uh, definitely uh, show you that once I'm finished. So, so now I got, I think I got the plastic pieces. I think these are for the front. Um, I'm not sure. I'm about to look that up. Cause I don't see how you can put those in the back here. I got sweat dripping off my face. There's my towel. And don't you hate it when you like you need something to keep moving your stuff around and you have to keep moving around to get it. Oh, my sweat towel. It's so hot in here. All right. So, see, so yeah, I'm thinking. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, First thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to try to grind as much of this crap out of here. That's a lot of rust. I, I am thinking about putting a coat of black epoxy on all this metal parts here. And I actually I am considering getting some of that bed liner spray. That rust only in bed liner spray and put a fresh coat on all this area right here. I'll put it on this new, new piece right here as well. Um... If you're wondering, there's still probably about a centimeter gap between there, and that's so that'll be okay. Alright, so. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start working on this uh, parking brake, if I can. I don't know if I have all the pieces to it. I think this side's gonna be. I won't have a brake on this side because um, if, I, if, if I see the other side, uh, it is. It looks different, so. Put a coat of uh, black epoxy on all the metal pieces. I tried grinding as much of this rust off, but oh, it's a pain in the ass to get off, so I just had to health it. And I just threw a whew, strong way to get some airflow in here. But I, uh, you know, I put a coat of it wherever I can reach it, just to kind of tame the rust right here, you know. It's not, this isn't a big high priority or. You know, or anything so it's okay I just thought I'd show you guys that